All right, here is the Endurance 2, and here's the new Vapor. The Vapor comes with an RPM screen, quite a bit different. This is a lot better. It'll also show me the degrees and stuff like that. Oh, look, the Vapor actually came with a keychain. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna put my key on it. it just says, let's ride. Be kind of cool if I had some keychains that said Hero RR. I don't know how many of you guys would think that's cool. I think it'd be kind of cool. Okay, so the first thing I want to install is the radiator fin sensor, and basically it's gonna give me my temperature gauge. And all it is is this one wire, and <laughs> it literally just take the radiator fin, you just stick it this uh, copper in between the uh, fins, and then this just plugs into the vapor, and then it's done. That easy. Let's do it. We're gonna first snake this wire through. I'm gonna use this. Uh, existing loop I have here. I'm just gonna snake that right on in. And that will route up here. I'll zip tie it off. But that will right route through here and just go to the vapor. Just like that. I think I want it down. Yeah, like that. Alright, I think that's good. The way I have it done is it just kind of goes in here comes down at a 90 degree angle, goes up here, I have it zip tied to this one piece, travels along here, goes up to here, had it zip tied again right here, and I have plenty of slack right up here for it to catch. All right, guys, so I didn't record any of this because, quite frankly, it's a big pain in the butt, but check this out, ready? Turn that on. You can see, whoop, you see the reflection on the wall. I'm gonna hit the front brake. Ah, look at that, I got a front brake light. I reinstalled the uh, brake switch. It kind of goes in here, it goes back in there, and then I have it routed down here, and then it splices up onto the rear brake one. That's how it's all wired in. Now I have the unbelievably annoying task of leaving my brakes, which I'm not gonna film because it's a pain in the butt, uh, but I'm just gonna do it. And it's boring to watch anyway, so let's move on.
Okay, top the radiator off with some water. And now we're gonna start the bike. Make sure the valves are good. running a uh, straight water through this now I've already turned it on a few times um, I'm just gonna dump pretty much the rest of this water in there and make sure it's all clear and then I'm gonna add my engine ice here put that in and then this thing will be ready to go almost done here guys coming straight out distilled water coming right on out All right, and on this side, this is our uh, little spade connector. I had to relocate it. Okay, that should be good for now. And that's good. And this is how the vapor's mounted. Nice and clean. I had to buy an extra bracket. I'll put a link in the description in case you're doing that. Um, but yeah, there's an extra bracket to make that fit properly.